Hi. Hi. Oops, my cords are everywhere. So today, can I fix uh, like a little bit if I lift it? I want to make sure you can see. I, I messed with this right before stream thinking, oh, I can fix this and make it look even better. And then, and then I didn't. <sighs> okay. So, hi, <laughs> I'm Billy. How's everyone doing today? I hope it's a very good day. Um, I would like to start off this stream by saying, if at any point you hear a loud beeping noise, and I mute, and I run off stream, and then I come back and shut it down immediately. Everything's okay. There just might be a tornado somewhere, I don't know, or a storm or something. Um, weather conditions are not ideal. <laughs> and uh, I just don't want anyone to panic. So, today we are working in my sketchbook. Um, it's a kind of simple screen. Uh, I think like and subscribe. Uh, my nails are kind of obnoxiously long today, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, yeah. Like and subscribe, please. Or subscribe. It was going so well. I was trying to write it backwards. I didn't, I didn't think about the spacing. It's very unfortunate. Anywho. I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to draw today until I went through my little library. Oh, excuse me. Um, until I went through my library, and then I was like, oh, I have some some inspirations to go with. Including <laughs> or mastering anime girls. Uh, we could do some fun, like, American idioms. I don't know why that's not focusing. Why are you not focusing? There we go. I have American idioms. We could, we could practice our color theory, regular drawing, or bu building in pencils. Um, and by my library, I mean the books that I have collected over the years. A, a lot of years. And I think we are gonna do some anime girls just to start. You know, why not? Why not? I really do want to get better at drawing, um, especially back on paper. I miss paper. Paper and pencils. This book is by Christopher Hart. Um, I believe he's on YouTube. I could be wrong. Anyhow. I know the basics, right? Like, I know um, some, some anatomy. I'm not very good at it, but I understand it. Um... These are all like really cool poses. Oh, they have all the dairy types. <gasps> okay, I just want to draw the head. I just want to draw a head because, you know, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I think I'm gonna try to draw in my red pencil. So I don't know, sometimes I like to go through books and stuff and just see, ooh, they have some tips on eyes. Let's. I'm going to use their little eye guide as just, you know, a outline for myself. Get inspired. Can you see the red pencil? You can't see the red pencil. Maybe I'll do blue pen. This can be a pen challenge a little bit. I can already tell my curve is not as curved as theirs. And then I'm gonna try to take that same space. And I don't know why. I don't draw my curves as curvy. Oops. Well, I guess we're just connecting those now. Because I messed up. But that's okay. That's practice. 
first first practice of the day that's fine hi hi hello um i am currently trying to draw anime girls or at least anime eyes um and it's been forever on paper so we're we're trying <laughs> it's gonna be a good time uh hopefully by the end of this stream i will be able to draw some sort of anime girl I don't think my shapes are very symmetrical, but... <sighs> right? How to draw manga. I have a whole bunch of little, like, drawing books and stuff that I've been just looking for an excuse to dive into, so... It'll be so fun! Also, I prefer, like, learning from books a lot of the time. Sometimes videos are helpful, but, like... I like books. I like having something physical in front of me that I can, like get up close and personal with. It's awesome. Okay, so let's, let's see. I don't know. They, okay, this is, this is what I don't like. When they go from, oh yeah, you can just fill in the pupils to like, and then you draw the lashes and the highlights and the this, and I'm like, but I, I, I need a little more step by step. I need just a, a little more step by step. So I can understand. Like, how do you choose how thick you want the lashes? How do you know where... Hmm. Okay, we're gonna wing it. They have a circle here and here. And then there's a circle here and here. And then a couple little sketch lines around the bottom. Those are not circular for me. That's okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't be doing this in pen. I should definitely not be doing this in pen. Ooh. Um. Yeah. My lack of confident brush strokes. Um, let me get this. I don't want to like show all of the book and stuff like because I don't want to be like steam. I think it's really good to look at other people's things when you're practicing because if you're just going off what's in your head how do you know if you're right? That uh, is a terrible eyelash. <laughs> Oops, I just banged my mic. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like how this particular, these particular eyes came out, but that's okay. We're learning. Let's see what else they have to offer on the next pages. Oh, they have side view and three quarters view. That's very advanced. Not really, but it's, it's, it's advanced for me. So I don't know. Let's let's try a little bit of like this. Wait, why are we in hair already? Are we not getting into, like, body and anatomy? Hmm. Mm -hmm. What if I just wing it? I know I literally just said, oh, it's so important to learn from people. But you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wing. I'm gonna wing it. And if this sketch comes out good, well, maybe I'll move it into my, I already put that. Um, if this sketch comes out any good, I can scan it with my iPad and then like color it there and then that could be really fun. That's true. It is a little bit more fun than just following exactly step by step. I'm just, I remember when I was learning how to draw eyes, it was all about the like, how can you get the, um, how can you get the curve of the eye to wrap around? and make it make sense, and then like, the, you you gotta remember that thingy. And then you want these to come out of that, I don't, I don't know. It was like a whole circle thingy, and I... 
and you want your pupils directly in the center, always like relatively circular or at least in ratio with the actual thing itself. I don't know. <laughs> All I did was draw eyes with nothing else. Yeah, that was me for a long time. Like, it, but I, they, mine were always specifically like these kind of eyes, like, like those kind of eyes. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. If I, I do things digitally a lot these days, so like I can get the perfect circle and I can color match whatever I want. I want to go back to the basics. I need to practice my basics. Which is also why I have just like how to draw one. How to draw what? I don't know. But how to draw. We can draw a horse. I'm sure they have how to draw an eye in there. Fun with pencils. I don't think I know that one. But I'm always interested in a good book. I'm gonna t just start at a new page and we're gonna actually go with pencil because I the pen is too stressful for me at the moment. We're gonna use my fattest pencil um, compared to my normal pencil. Just because I like the way that the lines are extra thick. Fun with Pencil Book by Andrew Loomis. Ooh, I'll have to look into it. I have... buildings and pencils but i think that's the only book on pencils i have so far i have a lot on like painting and color theory i have a lot on other crafts i have the michael's big book of crafts from uh michael's arts and crafts okay. what if we just draw chibis because like that'll be easier right they're smaller and less detailed so they should hypothetically be a little easier and, and then we're not gonna go in with any sort of major plan here i think the body's too big we'll see we'll see Internet Archive. Okay. Ah! My pencil! I think that should be in a little bit. A little bit. And then, like, I think you draw a beam shape for the body? If I'm not mistaken. And then, and then what if I just give little nubby arms? Do I need shoulders? I probably need shoulders. I do have birthday nails on again. These ones were a little bit extra long, though. I didn't have time to cut them down. And uh, so I'm going to see how, how that affects. I have a feeling they're going to fall off a lot quicker because I keep getting them caught on things already. <laughs> Um, let's see, if I put one little arm here, and then I put, like, one little leg here, and then the other one going out like this, and then...
is, is I don't like that body. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I like the bean shape. I just I don't know what pose that's gonna be. I have to think about the pose. What do we want our little our little chippy doing? I think hmm. it's gonna do. I kind of want it to be running. I want this one to be running. So if I go back to that initial bean shape I drew, and then I just extend that one, kind of like dynamic with the body, and then I put another one here. Oh, I like that better already. I like that one better already. And then I can delete the little, or not delete, erase. <laughs> Erase that, and then when you run, your arm kind of go backwards, so I think this arm should be back here, and this arm should be that way. It's at least walking, if not running, but like the arms... They go opposite, right? You're, when you when you run or when you walk, do you? I'm trying to imagine. Like I I don't. Hold on, I'm gonna stand up. When you run, yeah, okay. The arm across from your leg goes out. That's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Ha. -ha. The the struggles of art. What sucks is I think I did accidentally disconnect the body from the head a little bit. Uh, I think it'll be fine though. Okay, so now we've got a little pose. And... Where do we want the eyes? Where do we want the hair? I think it's gonna be looking... I think eyes are gonna be here. We're gonna give like a little mouth, and then and then I guess I'll just look at my bangs. <laughs> An emo brats girl. Ooh, I do like emo brats. It is a it is a fun little aesthetic. Um, I think my bangs come down like that. I do need to lighten up some of these sketch lines so that. They're less distracting. And there's that. And then if I do... I think I have like two pieces of hair there. And then my eyebrows like right there. And then, and then, and then... I just kind of... Kind of, kind of... Like that. Oh, that's kind of cute! Hold on, hold on. It's 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 starting to be cute. Oh, oh no. How do I get this under here? It's starting to be cute. <laughs> it will be cute. I will be cute. Okay. So this part goes way less high. And I think... I can do, like that and then and then and then and then and then oh <laughs> keep doing that i keep doing that uh we need like one more little bang piece so one two and then Three before I do this piece like that. And I think I think that's my bangs. Kinda. Kinda. We'll work on it. Okay, and then I have three little feathers on the top of my head. 
and, and then this one goes out like this. And then, and then, boop! Those don't look like feathers, but we'll fix them. <laughs> I could. I could. But I, but I like my hair. I like it. Um, let's see. And then my, I kind of want my hair to be flowing out. Like, like what if I... Need a little less of a curve there, like that, possibly. What if I draw the bottom of the hair first and then I can draw the top? That way I at least know how long it's going to be. I think this one is going to be, yeah, it's going to come there and like that. And then something like that. Why not? <laughs> We're going to make it big and dragging off to the side. And it has to be pretty messy because I'm a mess. Um, and then I have a little ponytail like this. Boink. <laughs> like that kid from Arthur. Um, let's see. If I extend like that, and then and then, oop! No, 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 no. Undo, undo. Okay. I have little sleeves and a little overalls. Um, and then, and then what if I ah? I just want to bring that down a little bit. Oh my god, I have so much respect for people who can do like actual realism drawings and stuff because I could never. I'll we'll draw like little paint splatter. And then my little shoes. You know what? We're just gonna... Give the little, like, tongue of the shoe. And then... I can draw the toes, because they're a little... Okay, I don't like that. That's too big of a foot. I don't have big feet. I'm not Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. Um... What if I do tiny feet like this, and then I can like that? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's coming along. It's coming along. I think I could actually clean that up and procreate and like make it really cute. It, it, it could be cute. It could be cute. Um, let's see. What else could I do? I'm gonna try... What if I draw me drawing? Kind of meta, right? Is that how you use that word? I don't know. Body too big. Body too big. Body yaddy yaddy. So I'm gonna do the tiny little. And then I 
I'll need some shoulders. And then, <laughs> no, I, I don't know how to draw me sitting this forward. I, I would like the side angles of the head. And if I do it that far forward, I'm not going to know what I'm doing. What if I draw one sitting like, just hear me out. What if I do? Kind of has to be curved this way, the bean. And then the little feetsies come out. And then we draw like one little nub arm. And then I don't need that. That's big. And, and then we draw like the overalls, the sleeve, the skirt. I don't like it so far. And we can oh, round that out. Round, round, round. Maybe I can put the eyes like right there. I think that's right. What about something like that? That's kind of cute, right? That's kind of cute. And then I can't really fit the goose on my little overalls for this, but I could fit the pocket, perhaps, and like paint everywhere. That's kind of cute. I'm realizing it's really hard. I'm wondering if I should rotate my hand cam. Can I flip? Vertically. Aha! Okay, now you can kind of see better. I do like that. That is a little better. And then what if I just draw like little hands? Little hands. And then a big old noggin, big old noggin. And then we just put little eyes and then, oops, it's not where that goes. My problem with art is always that it takes a very long time and I'm a very impatient person. So unless I'm completely hyper fixated in it and I'm tuned out to the rest of the world, sometimes I, I, I can't do it. So if I'm a little quiet, I do apologize. Yeah. 
some of that. And one more feather. I feel like I made the bangs not low enough though. It's okay because I can follow the shape language. Bring that down. And then start that there. Yeah. And then if I erase a little bit of that, it should look kind of normal. Kind of. I like it. Got a little, a little bit of chibi going. I, uh, I haven't really drawn in this style before, but I, I think it's cute. And I know the, the bean trick, but that's about it. What else can I make me do? What if, what if I... And I'm getting faster at drawing my hair. This is awesome. I need to draw the ponytail here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm doing my best. I forgot the feathers on this one and my ponytail, which is, you know, sacrilege, but... Haha. <sighs> I almost flipped this over, then I'm like, oh, I don't have to flip it over, because I fixed my camera. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long. Can I draw it facing the other way, though? Like, the, the flipped version, I do feel like... Can I draw my head facing this direction? And if I do, do I want the body to come out this way? Yes. Okay. I, I don't know how well this is going to look. We're trying flipped perspective. And I kind of want the eyes right here. My little mouth right there. That's not correct. How do I fix that? I need my one super long bang piece followed by a bunch of little stuffs. Oh! And then a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of here. How does Mambo number five go? A little bit of Jessica all night long, a little bit of Chiquita something something. <laughs> um, I kind of like it. I got the little ponytail. I need to take better note of my ponytail. I don't know how to draw that. <laughs> but we're, we're figuring it out. I think that that one came out the best of the ponytails, but... Okay, and then we got this hair coming down here. And then we got... What, what am I doing here? What if I'm fishing? Oh, I should make me fishing. Okay. We're gonna put one little arm there and one little arm almost touching. And then I'm gonna draw my fishing pole. My fishing pole. And then, and then I'll put my little bait out like that. Erase some of the scribble lines because, oh my goodness, there are so many scribble lines. And then... Oh, I like it! I'm fishing! Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I'll draw like little ripples around. And some grass. Like that. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I am a fisherwoman. Oh, I actually really, really am enjoying this. I was a little bit worried that I was just gonna, just gonna hate it. But, let's see. Here, you know what? I will give myself, like, a little light bulb here. Because this was a genius idea. This was a genius idea. And then I think that the light bulbs look something like that. Right? I mean, not anymore because they're LED, but like back when they had super coils. I don't know how light bulbs work. Um, yeah, well, it's cute. And then um, I got the fishies. We'll label that one Billy Fishin'. My one brain cell I and making my way downtown walking fast. <laughs> okay. And then I'll just sign it down here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I love that. I kind of want to color one in, but I don't want to ruin it if I'm going to scan it into Procreate. I've been known to ruin my things when I color them. Maybe I'll take a quick picture of it, and that way, if I mess up, it's okay, because then I'll already have a picture to reference. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to try. No. Mm. What if I ruin it? What if I ruin it? But what if I don't? But what if I do? What it, well, we'll just draw the belly. Oh, fishing. We'll draw belly fishing and, and, and hope that I don't mess things up. Okay. We're going to draw. Connect our lines. That went okay. I need a thicker pen. This is a one. I think I need a two or a three. I'll try five. It's probably too thick. We're off to a good start-ish, sort of. We're doing okay. <laughs> this looks a little silly. Now that I'm adding an oh, why did I add that line? That line didn't need to be there. Oh. It's okay. I can I can kind of blend it. Okay, we got a fishing rod, and fishing line going up the fishing rod. Now we got the hair coming down. We got things. And we got our big old feathers. And the cutest little ponytail.
very messy, but it's it'll do. Okay, and then if I color in the little eyes and a little mouth, I think I can get rid of the pencil lines. Oh, this is a big step. This is a big step. Is it cute? Or does it just look crazy? Because there's a good chance it just looks crazy. No, it's cute. It's kind of cute. It could use a little improvement. Like if I fix the face right there. Okay. And, and maybe if I clean up her eyes so that they don't look as runny. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to flip it. Billy Fishing. <laughs> I think I might also add just like a little bit of color around this. I did grab my markers that are not the, the awful markers this time. So hopefully... We're just going to give this one a little border to make the shape a little more interesting in my sketchbook. Which might be, might be a little dumb, but I don't, I don't care. I like making my sketchbook pop. When possible. Even if they are just silly little doodles. Okay, not bad, not bad. Can I... I probably shouldn't have taken it all the way out to the water portion of this drawing. I probably could have let my drawing fish outside of this bubble, that would have probably looked better. But, I don't know. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a sip of water real quick. Mm -hmm. Reminder to hydrate. Always. Something smells like nail polish remover in here. And I'm just realizing it's because of my nail polish. Uh, maybe I'll make like a little like goose emote thumbnail type thing so I can make them more digitally later too. Like like what if I what if I had a goose, right? And he was just like super happy to be here. And then eventually I made it like an emote because it would be super cute. So we do like some sort of thing like that. And then, and then he's super happy. <laughs> I don't know about that, but make chat emojis. I have to figure out how to actually do that, but I that would be really fun. That would be really fun. I'd love to have my own emojis that everybody could spam. It would be so cool. Let's see. I gotta figure out what a goose face looks like with all the different with all the different um emotions. So let's see, we have happy, we have sad we have angry we have okay that will start with those three so
We'll draw them like that so I know where I'm going. And I think a goose head kind of looks like this, if I'm judging accurately based off my noggin. And then we can draw just like, like that maybe? What if, oh, what if I give this one shades because it looks smug? Oh yeah. Hold up, I like the smug bastard, look at him. <laughs> He's so cute! I gotta, I gotta clean him up a little bit. But like, you know, you can see the vision, and then, and then we give him some, some cool feathers, cause, you know. <laughs> totally wicked. And then, and then I color it, like. It's got the little, like, reflections on there and everything. Oh, oh, what if I did, like, a motorcycle handle with, like, wings? I don't ride a motorcycle, but how cool would that be, right? This is just a cool dude, is all I about that cool emoji, cool dude. Uh, get that. I don't know if that looks like a motorcycle handle, but like we can pretend it could just be a tricycle. It could be a tricycle, we don't know. Okay, now how do I draw a happy goose? Ah. Ah. Happiness. What does happiness look like? Joy. Beaming joy. Okay. We've got... That looks like a sad shape head, so we're just gonna leave that one for the sad one and try... Try getting the cheeks happier here. I think the cheeks would be a little more tense and higher up than that. So it would be like this and then we need our neck and then we need happy eyes and we can give me little eyelashes in this one and then... I could just <laughs> that was like silly. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the Hell's Angels, essentially. Yeah, that would be fun. Can you imagine just like a bunch of angry geese <laughs> motorcyclists? Like, like imagine a motorcycle gang, and and their name's just the Angry Geese. The second you get a gander, you're in, like, trouble or something would be their tagline. I don't know. Um, what if I draw it like that? I think, I think that makes happy better. But this also could be laugh. Kind of looks like a laugh. Right? How do I draw a sad goose? <laughs> oh, I like this one! There's no way I'm gonna turn this one into an emoji, but I kinda like him because he's so ugly. Oh my god. Let me clean him up. He's the perfect goose. This is the perfect goose. <laughs> kind of looks like Psyduck. Custom. 
Oh, they have custom mics to look like their favorite thing, so Goose Mic is not too out there. Oh, oh that's sick. That's sick. I'm gonna make these pop more because I think just that at least this one is a true national hero. And then it just deserves the respect more than any of these geese. <laughs> we have. Perfect. It's beautiful. Uh, and we will take a orange, maybe? Sure. I don't know if this is orange or red based on the cap, but... The sketchbook. I'm positive this is gonna bleed through to the next page, but um, we'll deal with that when we get there. It's why we just glue things in, you know? Just cover it up. Although, do I have like a light orange in here? Hopefully one of these is light orange. It's not very light, but it is kind of orange. Do we have, what is this? Not the color I thought, but it's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> he's an angry little or a confused little dude. I don't know what he's been through, but he's been through some shit, okay? Um, let's see. With this guy. Let's make his feathers a little more dynamic. And then, like... Well, and hopefully I don't mess up the smugness of this beautiful, stunning, fabulous goose. Fabulous. Perfect. Okay. What about this? What a respectable goose. So respectable. Okay. And now to color it. We've got black marker for the sunglasses. Uh, 
Oh, this is gonna destroy... No, I don't have anything important on that page. That's fine. Vanilla ice, the goose. Ooh, kind of. Ice, ice, baby. Stop. Collaborate and listen. I'll get rid of that line and add one in here. So I think it'll look better. Coloring's hard. Not getting out of the lines. Ah! Oh, I was just saying, not getting out of the lines is really hard. And then I got outside of the lines. It's okay. It can be fixed and appropriate. <laughs> Can be fixed. Everything can be fixed. I kind of, I kind of love them. It's kind of great. Oh, we need, like, for this one, it's gonna be wearing a denim vest instead of overalls, right? And then it'll have, like, it's like a frayed feather, or feather, denim, oh my god, why can I not speak? Like a frayed denim vest, and, and, and then it's just all fluffy here. And then we need a color for around. And I'm gonna go with blue. Because he's riding on a clear sunny day. Safety first. Yes. Totally tubular bro. I think that's actually skater or er, surfboard lingo, not skateboard. Or... I don't know, man. My brain is all over the place today. I feel like I could not communicate well. I've gotten like no sleep over the weekend. It's not even the weekend, it's Wednesday. Oh my god. I've got no sleep over the past, like, four days. Oops. It's great. <laughs> okay. What can I put on this page? I think... Well, you know what? Let's take a minute to just, like, fully appreciate this, this silly little whatever we've got going on here. Because I do think it actually came out really nice all together in the end. It's, it's cute. I'll sign that too. With my little heart eyes. Okay. Stop. Collaborate and listen. What if I just drew some elephants? <laughs> you know, um, I just want to make sure I didn't like write my anything in here. Do we have any, uh, elephant references to look at? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I pick up the most random things sometimes to, um, try to draw.
let's see. Let's see. South African R20 has an elephant family you could use as reference. Ooh. I'll have to Google it. I am like a little bit far from my computer, so it's hard to like super Google things right now at the moment, but I will look into that. And I can add more elephants to my collection of references. I think this one are African elephants because they're ears, right? What do Asian elephants look like? They have in this, there's got to be some sort of difference with ears. Yeah, yeah. African elephants have these like large ears that kind of actually like look like Africa. And then Asian elephants, their ears almost look like the subcontinent of India. Shape-wise. African. Asian. Elephant. They have bigger tusks, too. I love elephants. <laughs> I, love, I love animals. Um, I could read animal facts all day. Every day. And I do. Okay, and then his ear is like there, and then comes down here, and then this part's all dark because that's where his body is. Should have drawn him further up. Elephant. Let's see. What are these? Apparently, these are the ancestors of elephants. Like before these guys. These were 50 million years ago. 50 to 35 million years ago are mammoths. Wow. Ooh, weird. I like this little elephant. He's got a cute little nose, all curled up. Ears are shapes of the continent. Aha! We have elephants in the forest in Kenya. Ooh! Wait. Did I say it? Yes. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if that's a typo or if I just don't know how to pronounce that. But that is really cool. Elephants are so cool, man. I love elephants. I want to draw a trunk of the elephant going like this. It'll just be a little stick or something that he's holding, but you like this? Mm, there's my back there. There's kind of a little bulge there. And then the tusk. Mm -hmm.
husk. And then there's like a ton of wrinkles. And then they're top. I keep putting these in the worst spot on my page. Thinking, oh, it'll save me space if I like move to the corner. No. All I'm doing is making it impossible to see what I'm doing. This part is gonna go there. Okay. Well, sort of. It's it's sort of an elephant trunk. What if I draw one like poking out of the water? So like head here right and then like ears kind of going everywhere and then got like a little eye right there and then then the, the nose the nose comes out like this and then and then it's also under the water and so it's just like we and we'll give him a little a little tail Can you tell it's an elephant? Probably not. <laughs> oh, I'm under the water. They're so cute though. Look how much fun they're having. Look how much fun. Oh, they're having so much fun. All these little elephants. Do you know elephants are closely related to manatees? True story, bro. I don't know if that's in here, but it should be. Is that in this book? I'm gonna go to the index. Do they talk about manatees in here? Page 10. They do. They do. Oh my goodness. I've just read this book a billion times. Manatees. Um. Let's see. Doo -doo boom. There is no living animal that looks like an elephant. To find out who their closest relatives are, scientists use clues. They use bone types and teeth types to figure out like what are related. And dugongs are huge sea-dwelling animals that are like manatees. Um, they're sea cows. They live in freshwater. And they grow over 13 feet long! They're cool. They're also... Wait, what? These guys had the same ancestors as elephants probably millions of years ago, too. Aardvarks. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, now that they are they're related, I gotta I gotta of course just just draw a manatee. And like, I cause <laughs> okay. What if? What do I have over here? My pencil sharpener. Uh huh. I think. going to draw Is there a dassy on the page dassy what what 
Did I miss something? What I miss? <laughs> Don't know the English. Oh, Rock Hyrax. Oh, that thing. Yeah, they are about the size of a rabbit, but they are one of the elephant's closest living relatives. The bones on their feet are similar. And they have tusk-like teeth. That's cool. They're related to elephants. The more you know. Also, I have no idea if anything in this book is accurate. I'm assuming it is because this is a book. <laughs> but I could be wrong. In 2007. Kind of like this mouse. He's very cute. Anyhow. I think I'm going to draw more chibis because I feel like it and I like them. They were fun. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? And they could be backed up. They could be not. This seems like it's uh, from Barnes and Noble. Like, just... The company put these books out, it seems, the hundred facts. Let's see if I got an any better at this. Ooh, what if I try to draw like two chibis interacting? Because I, I can draw one sort of now. So what if I try to put my skills to the test and like I have them interacting? So hmm. Also, I keep wanting to go like this because I like the noise Nails makes. Do you know, that's like partially how Dolly Parton came up with nine to five. Cause she was just going like, like bum ba da dum ba da dum ba da dum bum. Sorry, most of my uh, communication skills are, did you know? And did, yeah, I can't get annoying. <laughs> but I do that all the time. Okay, so we're going to draw one jibby here. Doing what? I don't know. It's a little lopsided face, but it's, it's okay. And then... Maybe this one has a present? And they're... Trying to hold it behind their back. We'll put like a little box there and a little too big of legs. <laughs> Little X. Little X. And then this bar thing is going to be And then like this one. Is... What is this one doing? Why did I give it such a booty? <laughs> oh no! You can't see what I'm doing! I just realized.
this person. I was gonna have their leg down here. And one kind of closer. And then we'll just have an arm. Maybe I do the arm backwards for saying hi instead of like reaching out for the gift. It's just like, oh, hi. And then this arm is down. Okay, this is kind of shaping up. Shaping up. Come on. Like this one would have like a little. Like one of those kind of speech bubbles where it's like, what's going on in the story? I feel like every time I start streaming, I get like unexplainably snacky. I don't know what's all what all that's all about. Let's see. I'm gonna draw. I mean, I guess the head in this one's not even that visible if it's that angle. So what if I draw? No. <laughs> no. 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 The face is gonna be still partially visible through whatever we do here. So like I'm gonna do a little bit like that. This hair is really big. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do that. But we're gonna we're gonna skip it. And we're gonna draw I don't know who I'm drawing in this one. It's not necessarily me. Get the most obnoxious snacks and eat them into the mic. I'm so tempted. I have Jack's mix. I could do it. I could be obnoxious. But but I will save you. <laughs> uh, save you the trouble and the trauma that me eating Jack's mix for like two hours on stream would, would, would cause. <laughs> I'm going to get this to erase surprisingly hard. What if I just give this person short hair? Because that would solve the, but their head's backwards, so what do I do with it issue, right? And then you can still see the present. And I'll give them little cute little ears. And they're like that. And they got little shoulders. And then little jeans. And little pockets. How beautiful. And a little belt loop. Sure. And then little tiny feet. I don't know how to draw feet. And then and then this one is I'm gonna give her like bang bangs. You know? Like bangs. Chalky bangs. And then try to make the hair. A little less crazy than before. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I feel like the face on this one's huge. Uh, we put little arms. I probably should have put the eyes first so I knew the scale. Oh no. We've just got we've got two little Jimmies. And then we'll give her like a cute little sundress thing, I guess. Cute little t-shirt dress with like a little belt. I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. It can be like blushing. And, and we'll give him like a little top hat. Diana hair dress shirt. Diana hair. Hmm. Oh? Um, I do kind of like that. I don't know how to get that wispiness, though. That float. Uh, I'm gonna just swap that like that so I can work on the next little chibi shit. Chibi chibis. What if I put one in a teacup? They're very small. And then. We want this line. If I can draw the same line a couple times in a row without failing. Need to work on my circles. Also, I feel like I didn't need to add that much shape to the cup. So you know what? We're just we're gonna we're gonna boop. Boop. You want me a little hands? That's too little. Too little, too little of hands. We have the head. And now we can put like the little hands there. And then a super happy little bean face oh look it's me in a teacup <laughs> I don't know a little crazy Oh, I don't have to turn it. I keep forgetting. I don't have to turn it. Use the hairspray that caused the ozones to burn. I have a hard time believing it was just the hairspray, man. I'm so paranoid to use hairspray now, though, because, like, I remember my mom telling me the story that she used to use so much hairspray that she caught her hair on fire one time. And... Like, just at a birthday party, she was got too close to the candles, and, and, and her hair caught fire. And I was like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Because she wasn't even touching the fire. She didn't get her hair caught in the flame. They caught the, like, fumes that were in her hair. Yeah, they wrote, like, a whole musical about it. 
That's not what hairspray is about, is it? Do I have, where did I put my water? Over there, haha. I wonder. I feel like I need to practice like drawing straight lines and circles. So I'm wondering what I can draw that'll help me with circles. Maybe I could just draw like a bunch of circles for no reason and hope it comes cute. Bubbles! Bubbles. We're gonna draw some bubbles. Uh oh. My power just flickered. And I know that the wind is a little crazy outside right now. Um, before my computer shuts itself off with, I can look out my window right now and it's pretty windy. Yeah, before my power decides it's going to go out, I'm, I'm going to end stream so that I can actually end the stream and those, it's not just like running all night. I'm so sorry. I plan to go for longer today, but weather is, weather is not my friend right now. Um, I really appreciate you hanging out with me. If I draw any more, I'll post some pictures on Twitter or something. Um, thank you so much for coming. I will see you later, probably tomorrow or something. I don't know. I gotta go. Bye.